Hi everyone. So today I have got a purchase from eBay. This came actually about a week and a half ago, but um, I've been sick, so I've had no energy to film anything. I actually have another video that I, um, I should have posted sometime last week, but like I said, I got sick on um, Wednesday, and it turns out that I have bronchitis. So I've been on antibiotics, and today is the fourth day that I've been on it. Tomorrow will be the last day. Um, I've gotten better, but my energy level is still kind of, it's kind of here and there. It's either up or down, and um, right now, I'm pretty exhausted, but um, I'm going to try to still push through. I do plan on going back to work tomorrow. I did miss two days last week, so let's go ahead and get started. So they packed it really well, and um, I haven't made a purchase like this in a long time. Mostly because, you know, I don't really need them, but I couldn't resist. I saw uh, Marilyn G purchase these. Um, I think she got hers from Macari, and she got a lot of stamps um, in her set. But I was able to get these for a good deal. The seller offered um, to give it to me um, about maybe $12 less than what they had listed. And these would have came out to individually probably about maybe seven dollars, which is not bad. So these are really big stamps. They're by um, PSX, I think. I want to say it doesn't say it on here, but yeah, PSX. Um, this the the this one is from 1996. So. I think I got, how many, eight maybe, or not, seven, I can't remember, of these stamps. So they are the botany stamps, uh, or botanical stamps, and they're pretty big. It's probably about maybe three by four. So obviously this one was used, but I'm going to try to give it a good cleaning. Um, so it's Queen's, Queen Anne's Lace, um, and I thought these would be really pretty in um, a junk journal. Or mixed media. I plan on stamping these and using them in uh, my junk journal. So I'll probably just, yeah, let me put them back in the bag. Well, no, I'm going to clean that one. So, and these came, this, the seller shipped really fast. Like I got this within like two days, I think, of them shipping. So this one is a uh, Rosa or Rose. Oh, sorry. Let me focus for you. There you go. And faded there but it's PSX K023 I'm sorry this one is uh, K2048 and as you can see this is used so I don't know what that is but I'm gonna yeah I'm gonna give that a really good cleaning um, another one So this one is also another, it says Rose, Rosa, but um, they're obviously used, but that's okay. This one is K036, so here are the differences between the two. It's kind of interesting that it has the same name. Yeah, so it's seven. Um, this one has not been used. This one is uh, Dianthus. As you can see. So this is K2150. says 1997. I don't know if you can read that. Okay. This one is a personal favorite. Oops. Hold on here. Ugh. It's never been used. This one is peach. And it is K1637 from 1995. It's never been used, but it looks like. This one is morning glory. Oops, sorry. 
there we go and it's been used and it's K 2047 1996 and then the last one here let me get this out of the way so reuse the box I always try to reuse those boxes Hybrid Bros and this one is K1636 and it looks like it was used so <clears throat> I lay them all out here So they would be really nice to watercolor in, you know, if you have watercolor pencils. Um, I might try doing that. I'm going to stamp them here because I do have, well, I have my stamp cleaner. I've got some cardstock, some white cardstock, and I just want to see how they're going to turn out. So let's go ahead and stack these. Some, I want to see how they're going to turn out. Okay, so let's see. I've got my Memento stamp pad here. Hmm. I wonder if I needed to prime this stamp. I sometimes like to take a file a nail file and um, score it a little bit so that the ink will um, stick to it because sometimes stamps can be a little too um, slick still. I mostly do that with like the acrylic ones. I rarely have to do it with the um, with the rubber ones. So let's hit, see how this turns out. Yeah, see, the inside of it really needs to be, uh, it's not sticking very well. Okay, well, you know, it is what it is. I will do that later on. So let's clean this. It's not one of those I can flip it over. probably need to get the chamois. Oh, maybe not. That did really well. Look at that. It's all gone. <laughs> so let's try this one. The rose. This one it looks like they didn't really clean it very well. Actually, let's try it here. This one got a lot of use out of it though. Probably should use a different one, not the Memento. Um, let's see how this turned out. See, I need to definitely go get a different stamp pad. So I will be right back. And I'm back. All right, so I couldn't find my black archival ink so I've got this like cobalt blue and it the impression came out a little bit better but I think it's my surface that um, I'm when I'm pressing down it's not going through very well this one I might have to clean before I stamp because I don't want to get any of that glitter not glitter but gold stuff on it it's so weird Maybe some of this stuff yeah, they didn't clean it at all. Look at that. Let that soak in there. Hopefully. Oof. I have 
two of these freaking scrubbing pads, but I don't know where the other one is, which is kind of annoying because I don't think I've used it yet. I don't think it's on my other Rascog here. It's somewhere. So. This I might have to use with a, um, a brush, a toothbrush. I'll let that one dry first. That one just doesn't look good. Okay. Ugh. Same thing with these, you know, I'm gonna clean them because they're just like, I don't know if the ink is gonna hold. If, if it's just like really stained or what? I don't know, maybe I'm just OCD when it comes to stamps. Because I always like to clean mine really good. need to <laughs> wipe it okay this one all right this one you have to like really tap it in There's just so much detail in these stamps. That's what I love about them, but at the same time, it's annoying when it doesn't stamp very well because you didn't, you know, you didn't press down properly. I probably won't get a good impression, but we'll try. So I have this, but I haven't even put like a felt. This is from an old candle. It moved. Oh no. See, yeah, I'm not getting a good, um, I need like a phone, I think, because <laughs> I'm not getting a very good impression. Yeah, that cleaned it out actually pretty good. okay <laughs> but I'll definitely have to work on probably I think these stamps require a dining room table <laughs> somewhere that's got a little bit more uh, stable not stable but harder surface to press down on I kind of want to just take them off the blocks but I don't know we'll see and we'll get to Get another sheet of paper here. <sighs> I'm breaking out of sweat just doing these, and that just shows you how I'm still recovering from being sick. I haven't been sick for three years now. Um, it sucks. I'll well, probably be not sick for more than three years.
I'm always pretty good about washing my hands, wearing my makeup, I mean my makeup, my mask, you know, maintaining that six feet apart. I'm just glad I didn't get the flu. My mom and my brother, they caught the flu when they went to Florida. That's why I don't like going to Florida, because it seems like every time they go, they get, they catch something. Almost. All right, I'll wash that in a bit. While I'm stamping this, did anybody watch the second season of Bridgerton? I binged it all um, last night. Oh, this is upside down, I just realized. <laughs> Sorry. Well, yeah, see, look at that. Ugh, I like completely missed the middle part. It's so weird. Anyways, so I binged the second season. I've read the books, all the books. Um, yeah, they made a lot of changes. To the storyline for the second season and I don't know um my impressions of second season I absolutely cannot stand Eloise does anybody agree with me I mean I don't know last season she was okay you know she was funny but she wasn't annoying this season she was fucking annoying I just like could not stand her every time you know um, she came up on the screen with her stupid storyline and all this shit, you know, it's just, she was like, she's like the most selfish character. Um, it's always about her and, you know, she's trying to be all liberated and stuff and it's like, I get it, you know, but we're talking about the Regency time and yeah, there are women that did not want to get married and stuff, but seriously though, the way that they went about her character was just... Ugh, I could not, I seriously couldn't stand her. And I was kind of disappointed at the way that they um, portrayed her and Penelope's friendship um, at the end. Um, did I already do this one? I think I did. Yeah, I did. Uh, yeah, it was just, she's awful and they need to like fucking fix her character if they're going to still show her. Um, do her storyline, you know, in, um, I guess the fourth season, because hopefully next season will be Benedict's. I love Benedict. Um, I am curious to see who they are going to use for, um, who are they going to get to play, you know, the female lead for his season. But, um, yeah. Overall, I was very pleased with um, Anthony's, you know, Anthony's season, so to say. Um, very, very pleased with the, um, the girl that they picked for Kate and how they portrayed, you know, they just made the change of Sheffield, Sheffield to Shawarma, Indian. Um, yeah. Overall, it was okay, but like I said, I just wish they just I can get rid of Eloise's like whole story arc because it's just it sucks it really does there's just there's nothing likable about her at all you know so and I'm kind of glad that they made some changes like her hair last season was just like nobody has a shag I'm sorry during that time period and this this time they de-emphasize on her hairstyle from the first season. And I'm glad with Anthony, they kind of took back a little bit of the um, sideburns. He looked a lot better this season. Um, what else? Colin, Colin is actually, yeah. Okay, I'm just curious to see how that's going to turn out with Penelope. If 
they still go through with that, like in the books. I'm not giving any spoilers here because you can always go and get the books. Um, but yeah, it was worth it. Now I'm just waiting for the crown to come out. So, okay. So these are the impressions that I got. I'm going to try to do some better ones and hopefully it won't be too bad. Um, I'll probably post them on my Instagram. But anyways, that's all I have for today. Oh, wait, 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 no, that's not all I have for today. Since um, it's all stamps, I wanted to go ahead and show some things that I did purchase really quick. Um, I've gotten my nieces and nephews into anime now, and the first anime that they watched, that I had them watch, was Demon Slayer. So I thought it was funny that um, I saw these at Target, and so I decided to pick up two, and I was so happy that I got two characters that I really wanted. Um, so, and I can't think of the names because, you know me, uh, Nezuko. I got Nezuko, but I got the angry Nezuko, okay? And I also got, uh, Shinobu. Oh, nope, not Shinobu, is it? I can't read that. I think it is. Because I love her colors, purple, with her purple eyes. So I got two females here. Okay. This stuff. Where's that box? There it is. And then I also picked up three Sailor Moon. So one I purchased from Hobby Lobby because I saw that they had them, but they're seven ninety nine there. And then I was able to get two, um, two. Oh, actually, I didn't realize this. So they're two different ones. Okay. So, yeah. So this is season one, and that's series five. Series one, I'm sorry. So I think this is the one that's from Hobby Lobby, and I was able to get um, Queen Barrel, which I had not gotten before. So I was really happy to get her, even though she's evil. And then from the series five, I got these from Target. So I got Jedite. I was wanting Kunzite, okay, or uh, Nephrite. And then I also got Mercury or Amy. She's all right. I always seem to get, when I get like the Sailor Moon characters, I always start out with Mercury. Sorry, but Mercury is my least favorite. <laughs> or rather she's down the totem pole. But um, she's cute. I got I like the school uniform or the civilian clothes ones. So yeah. So that's what I got. Um, pretty happy with those. So yeah, I will try to post more if um, I've got more energy. I'm just, just so low energy. It's not even funny. I spent I've spent the last four days sleeping resting, sleeping, resting, and it's just, yeah, I'm just like, I'm done, <laughs> but I just wish I had some more energy. I did earlier, but um, I went to my sister's house to go and see my nieces and nephews, but my nephew wasn't there, and um, the dog was more happy to see me, <laughs> but anyways, yeah, so that's what I've got, and um, I'll see you guys on another haul, all right, bye-bye.